Hello world. When launching contact instruments such as the giant or output's substance, don't waste time by first navigating to a blank instance of contact and then searching for the plugin and launching it. You can speed up this whole process by utilizing the save preset option in Ableton. To do this, launch contact and open an instrument that you commonly use such as output's substance. Next, go to the instance of contact in your device bar and click the save icon to save the preset. I like to add a preamble, for example, you could use your initials. This helps you identify the preset as one that you made and it also gives it a unique name, making it easily searchable. Don't worry too much at first about having too long of a name. Just use any of the words you might type when looking for the instrument. Over time, you'll be able to streamline your naming to just the specific words you commonly use. Once you've named the preset, you can tidy it away if you like, but don't worry about that too much, as you'll be searching for it using Ableton's global search via Command F or Control F. This is a good habit to get into if you don't already do it. So now, whenever I want to launch output substance, I simply Command F or Control F search for the unique preset name, and double tap the Enter key to automatically launch the first and only item in the search list. This same concept can be used to instantly launch contact libraries that don't list in the contact browser. These instruments are often from independent developers who can offer you more value for money by waiving additional charges. Once you have dragged the instrument into contact from wherever it lives on your hard drive, simply save it as a preset and you never have to go hunting for it again. Similarly, you could use this technique as a quick launch platform for commonly used Spitfire Labs instruments. This cuts down the process of launching labs and then hunting down the instrument and preset you're looking for. As a bonus tip, if your larger contact instruments, such as those by output, are loading considerably slower than you've seen in this video, then you would likely benefit from a batch resave. Simply launch the instrument, click the floppy disk icon, and click Batch Resave. As a frame of reference, this session is working off a 2015 MacBook Pro, with all the contact libraries living on an external SSD hard drive. Click.